last video, I showed you guys the uh, quick, free, easy home gym that I threw together. And that lasted about a week. Look, it's all gone. Um, but for good reason, because as I also mentioned, we were talking about building out this patio um, as a legit home gym. And it looks like we're gonna go forward with that. So I will be documenting that process as we go. What I'm doing is clearing it off. So my little plant stand area is now relocated around the corner by the shed. Uh, I actually think they're gonna like it better out here. Um, and then all of this stuff, the grill and everything is out here. And then I just have to move all that junk in the corner. And this thing, it looks like a bar but it's actually covering the gas meter. And um, I'm gonna take that out too. So we're gonna have a naked gas meter and I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this thing that I spent an ungodly number of hours putting together. <laughs> Maybe I'll make it into a piece of art. Thing after clearing the area is doing something about this floor, which I also mentioned, how uh, uneven it is. Um, this slab has been broken and you see it's raised right here. It's probably two inches taller right here than it is here. Um, yeah, and also we have this area where the sewer line was, was replaced. So there's this big thing. Uh, ideally, uh, it would be to jackhammer the whole thing up and re-pour it, but this is a budget job. So we are going to try and knock down. Hi, Roscoe trying to knock down as much of this hump as possible just by sort of chiseling it down and then um, float a uh, self-leveling concrete on top of it just to kind of level it out. It won't be perfect, but it'll be better. Thing about the self-leveling concrete is it won't stick to a painted surface. So who knows how many layers of paint and sealer is on here, it, decades worth. So first things first is taking all that off. After the floor is fixed, uh, we're gonna get some stall mats to put down as padding uh, as our new gym floor. And then we need to enclose this area. So the idea is we're, see this slat wall right here. We're gonna do something similar on this section and that section. And then the middle section is gonna be in two and then open up as uh, for like two barn doors, um, but with the same slat pattern. And um, so that's how it's gonna be enclosed. It's not gonna be fully enclosed because I think it would look too, um, I don't know, it would close all this area and make it too claustrophobic. So it's just gonna be more of a visual divide. And it will shade it a little bit because it gets really hot out here. Uh, downside is we're not going to be able to really air condition it. Um, we are going to get a little area air conditioner, um, but it will leak out, obviously. Maybe later down the road we'll add some um, plastic or plexiglass or something. I don't know. But for now, this will be great. If you remember, there was a wooden box around this gas meter with a top. Um, it looked like a bar, but really it was just to conceal this ugly thing. Um, but to make space, we busted it apart. Uh, we did keep the top that I spent so much time and effort in doing in resin. And we're gonna clean that up. We trimmed the edge off because it had a gap in it for the, for the pipe that goes up. So we trimmed off one side We'll put some little hangers on it and hang it on the wall right there. So it hasn't gone to waste. So we've been working on it now about five days, but not full days, just like after work and stuff, uh, focusing mainly on repairing the slab. But a couple things that we did get knocked out is the patio is completely cleared. And also, uh, see that light fixture up there? They used to be mm, about down here. They were pendants. So uh, we raised those up there so they're out of the way. And the other thing we did is, let me switch it around. 
We put in a couple smart bulbs, and that is for a couple reasons. Uh, this is an old house, so there are no switches anywhere, and they're really hard to put in. So they have little turn knobs on them, and we obviously can't reach them up there, so we put in these smart bulbs so that we could turn them off and on with our phones, and we can turn them both on at the same time and off at the same time. And these are, um, they go from daylight to bright light, so it'll really illuminate the space.